walking across that set like she owns it. Like she's in her bedroom. And three, two, one, go! Oh. <laughs> Stage. And walk out. Fabulous. Gorgeous. We're all set. Let's go, Chloe. Let's go. They're not gonna do the Here we go. I don't think it's much about talent. I think it's about the look. And the thing I'm worried about is that Chloe has the same hair as Lux. For the music video, the person determining the lead is the director and the producer of the music video. It's not Abby. So for once, there is an even playing field, and Chloe has a chance. And action, bro. Really nice, bro. Yeah. Very good. Very good. I thought hurt. you got hurt. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you lost it. It's called the Got death it? drop. Girls, you did an amazing job, and um, and and this is is. Unlike just going out for a dance competition, there are many different levels to this. There's not only your, your dance ability, but your acting ability, and then it comes down to a certain essence or quality. Of course, every girl wants the lead in this, but we all pretty much know that Maddie will get it, and naturally, kids are going to be jealous. It's just a natural thing. For this particular role, we need to find someone that, that, that comes as close to looking like Lux and feeling like Lux as, as possible. Chloe's nervous a lot, she tells me. She doesn't have self-confidence. I have a lot of confidence, and I think I have a good chance of being the lead. For those reasons, uh, and based on your talent and your combined efforts, at the end of the day, we have to make a decision about what's going to be best for the video. We have to go with Chloe, because Chloe, you've got that that thing that's just working for this video right now. Seven just said that I am Lux when she's little, and I'm so excited. I finally did it. Your natural, just God-given ability is fantastic. It's wonderful. You really have something special. Just please get into more ballet classes. Would you go out there and send in number 252, Maddie? Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. I think going up against Chloe is going to be hard because she's more of a ballerina than I am. So, Maddie, you got something you can show us? Yes. All right. Thank you. You really know how to perform. Thank you. Some showmanship going on there. You could have been on Broadway, but you have to be a dancer. Throughout the whole piece, I kept wanting there to be a pause. I wanted there to be a time where you let your body finish and move all the way through something before jumping into the next movement. Uh, can you go up on Releve? Show me Releve, right? Go really high up on the Releve. Okay, those feet have more potential than what you're using right now. But you've got to work hard to do it. Right. Maddie came out and Maddie was not all that confident. Hello? Hi, is this Christy? Yes, it is. This is Davis Robertson from the Joffrey Ballet School. How are you doing? I'm well, how are you? I want to take the time to call you personally and let you know that uh, we want to offer Chloe a scholarship for the summer. She was at the top of our list. Oh. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Thank you. I think Chloe is excited to have that opportunity, but I really think that Chloe's trying hard not to show it because the other little girls in the room wanted that as well, and she didn't want to hurt anybody else's feelings. Under our direction, uh, I really do believe that she has uh, got the potential to be just a beautiful ballerina, oh. and uh, we would like to assist in making that happen. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. You are very welcome. It's hard when your child doesn't get something that they want, but that's also part of a dancer's life. It's tough. We'll be seeing you soon. All right, take care. You're being a brat. Don't even, no, walk away from me. Please, uh, I want to organize. Get back here right now. Get back there. Now, get back here. Madison, get back here. Your phone is going away. I feel really upset that Chloe got a call from the Drawfrey Ballet School. I think I kind of deserve to be on top. Stop it. Guess what? Five days. 
10 days now. 10 days, Maddie can't have her phone. I know exactly how that little girl was feeling, and I know that she wants this Joffrey scholarship as much as anyone else, and I know she's thinking, my shot's out the window. Oh, it's all Chloe. Even though these girls are such good friends, they are really, really fierce competitors. Maddie? Oh Maddie, come here. I have to tell you something now. One more, if you don't come back here in five seconds, it's gonna be 15 days. Maddie is really stressed out because she was disappointed, but I won't put up with a brownie kid. She just needs to reach deep and down inside and just, you know, be thankful for what she has and don't, you just can't worry what other people think of you.